The Sacramento Kings are quietly dominating. After having a couple up and down seasons over the past couple years, it seems like the Kings are finally starting to figure things out. And so far on the season, the Kings have a very impressive 32 and 25 record, and that makes them the third seed in the West, which is something literally nobody expected coming into the season. But quickly, before we get the video started, for those of you who may not know, I'm Juicy Sports, I make opinionative NBA content, and if you guys enjoy videos similar to this, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that post notification bell. I also want to quickly mention that I recently started up an MMA channel, and if you guys are interested in that, the link will be in the description. But anyways, let's get into it. The Sacramento Kings organization has been really bad for a really long time. They consistently hired the wrong people at general manager, at president of basketball operations, head coach, basically any position that they could hire someone in, they hired the wrong person. And due to that, over the years, we really saw the negative effects. The Kings literally were never good. They haven't made the playoffs in 16 full seasons. The last time they made the playoffs was 2006. And for a very long time, the Kings were just known as a team that just wasn't good. But all that started to change a couple seasons back where they started to make some better decisions. They started to make decent decisions drafting, they started to make decent decisions in the trade market for agency. I wouldn't say they made the best decisions, but they were just much better decisions than they've ever made in the past. And due to that, the Kings started to look a little bit better, and they started to show some promise. Now still, even with that being said, they weren't able to make the playoffs over the past couple years, but fast forwarding to this season, it seems like things are finally starting to change. And currently on the year, the Kings are the third seed in the West and they have a 32 and 25 record, which is something literally nobody expected coming into the season. But not only are the Kings playing well on paper, when you actually watch them out there on the court, it's pretty clear that this is somewhat sustainable. They're playing really well as a unit offensively, they're playing decent defense, and overall they just look like a complete team from top to bottom. And when I say I think this could be sustainable for the Kings, what I mean by that is I'm not necessarily saying I think they're going to be the third seed to end the season. What I'm saying by that is I think they could play at a similar level of NBA basketball throughout the rest of the regular season. And in turn, what that would mean is I think the Kings would make the playoffs. But now, the question is, why are the Kings playing so much better this season than they really ever have in the past? Well, it comes down to a bunch of different factors, but the first factor that I want to touch upon is something that I slightly mentioned before, but it's the obvious that the Kings are just playing very well offensively, as well as they're playing pretty decent defensively. Chemistry looks to be at a pretty good level, and overall, all the basic things that you look for in a team, the Kings certainly have that. But moving on to the next factor for why I think the Kings are playing so much better this season, it's the actual players they have on their team and the fact that they're stepping up significantly. When you look at a guy in De'Aaron Fox, he's been a player that basically ever since he got drafted, he's been a really good and really talented young player. But when you look at what he was able to do this season, he's improved his game significantly. Now when you look at his statistics, it doesn't seem like he took a huge jump, although you do see somewhat of a jump, but the biggest difference for De'Aaron this season as compared to basically any season in the past is his efficiency numbers. In the past, De'Aaron certainly had a nice ability from that mid-range as well as certainly that driving and finishing ability and he certainly did struggle from that three-point range. But this season, De'Aaron is still struggling from that three-point range but he's doing a better job at understanding of what he does well and focusing a lot more on that. Instead of putting up a ton of three-point jump shots, he's focusing more on either his mid-range shot or driving all the way to the basket which in turn has made him much more efficient. Because for from that mid-range area, De'Aaron actually has a lot of nice abilities. He has a really nice one dribble pull up from that range, cross over, sidestep and step back, even at times has a decent post turner on fadeaway, and basically from that mid-range area, De'Aaron is actually very efficient. But once driving all the way to the basket, De'Aaron is even more efficient. He has a great ability to finish around contact or even finish through contact with either his left or right hand, has a nice ability to put up a floater in the lane, and overall, if he gets a full head of steam driving to the basket, it, it's just very difficult to stop this guy. But even besides his individual scoring ability, he has shown a nice ability to facilitate, run the offense, run a really nice pick and roll, or even pick and pop with DeMontis Sabonis, or even some other guys on the roster, and overall De'Aaron this season just looks a lot better as compared to his previous years. And in his previous years, he was always a pretty good player. But the thing about this season is it's not only the improvement of De'Aaron Fox, but also the play of DeMontis Sabonis has been a real benefit to the Kings. Now when you look 
look at Sabonis' statistics, it seems like he's basically playing at the same level that he's been playing at for the past three years. But when you look at his efficiency numbers, it is pretty clear that he's playing at a higher level. Now, what Sabonis was able to do over the past couple years was certainly very impressive and certainly helped out his team. But the fact that he's so much more efficient this season helps out his team that much more. And in my opinion, the fact that their main two guys in De'Aaron Fox and Sabonis are playing really well at a similar level to what they usually do, maybe even a little bit better. But most importantly, they're significantly more efficient is a huge reason for why the Kings are playing so much better this season than in years past. Because I mentioned this in a lot of my videos, but whenever you look at player statistics, they could be putting up great numbers, maybe 25 plus points a game. But if they're not efficient, at the end of the day, they're not really helping their team win. Or they're not helping out their team win as much as they possibly could as compared to if they were very efficient, like these two guys have been this season. But besides those main two guys, the Kings are also getting a lot of help from some supplementary guys they have on the roster and overall from top to bottom a lot of guys are stepping up and they just look like a really good team but now the question is what are my expectations for the kings by the end of the season well as i touched upon slightly before i do expect the kings to make the playoffs by the end of the season i would expect them to be a top six seed in the west as crazy as it may sound but based upon how well they have been playing especially as of late i don't really see a reason for why they shouldn't be able to do that now at the end of the day there's a possibility that that doesn't happen maybe they're a top eight seed or maybe they just don't make the playoffs altogether but i think they have the talent level and i think they've proven the ability to play at a similar level that would be required to be a top six seed in the west and if they were to make it to the playoffs i don't expect them to get it all that far but just making it there and getting that experience alone would significantly help out a lot of guys and a lot of young guys the kings have on the roster and if the kings were able to make it to the playoffs this season i think their future going forward long term would be much brighter because if they have that playoff experience under their belt even if they don't do all that well just having that experience would significantly help them out and going forward to next year for example they would have that experience under their belt and potentially do a little bit better and then just continue to improve their games season after season until eventually they get to a point where they're legitimate championship contenders now i don't necessarily know how long that would take or even if they would be able to get there in the future but just for a young team like the kings have that would be the eventual goal and the fact that they have shown a lot of promise so far this season would certainly certainly be encouraging long term. Now going forward, besides the players they already have on the roster and besides the inevitable improvement that they're probably going to show, I would like to see the Kings organization continue to draft effectively or at least somewhat effectively, try to make some decent trades in the trade market, bring in some decent players in free agency, and basically keep the same roster they have currently, but just make slight improvements to it. And if eventually they're able to bring in a pretty big name to add to this roster, that would be great, but don't gut your roster in order to get a player like that. I think the Kings have a pretty decent and pretty talented young roster at this point. But I guess only time will tell what does end up happening with the Kings, not only this season, but also in the long-term future. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think the Kings have a legitimate shot to make the playoffs this year, or do you not think so? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did enjoy, check one of these two videos popping up now. And until the next time, peace out guys.